So here's how I roll down my Alpaca Expedition. I start by removing the thigh braces, the seat, and the foot brace. Take out the PVC combing, deflate the boat, put it on a flat surface I'm using my front yard. Now I'm going to be rolling the boat into thirds. And I start by folding it forward and then doubling it back. And that's a wonky way to do it, but it keeps the gravel out of the cockpit. Make sure that zipper is zipped up all the way and uh, lay it flat. So now we're actually going to angle the zipper up to the top left corner. And that is so that we can put the valve dead center in the boat. Because we're going to be rolling it together uh, once from one side and again from the other side. Uh, kind of like a, an ancient scroll if you're familiar with those. And the last thing that's going to be showing is the valve itself. Now, this method is a little different from the way they show prepackaged in the mail. And I know that there are a handful of ways to do this, but this is my favorite. Someone showed me how to do this on a river trip once. I think it comes from a Roman Dial blog post. I'm not totally sure. Feel free to comment and uh, tell me what's what. <clears throat> but in the meantime, I've had to spin the boat so that I can roll from the other side. And you can either use a friend. Uh, or you can like do a weird yoga move with your foot and uh, that seems to work for me so at the end here the only thing that's actually showing is the valve cap itself or the valve and the valve cap and once I get it to this point I can put it back down on the ground and uh, make sure it's all sealed up nicely and then I'll close the valve so that no more air can get into the boat and then I'm gonna put the valve cap back on. And uh, that's to protect the kind of the sharp angles of the plastic valve itself, make sure nothing bad happens. Now, when you squeeze it together, you want that valve to be flat. You don't want it to be folded or rolled in any way. And there you have it. It's a nice tight roll down.